Hello, everybody, and welcome to Comet Sighted, episode number 16, Dev Diary number 16, from the 10th of September, 2018, for Imperator Rome. This is a pretty small Dev Diary today, but I particularly like this one. First of all, we have the Road Building Ability, which is unlocked in the Latin Military Traditions by the 4th Tradition in the Roman Path. Any army with that tradition and at least five cohorts will be able to start building a road towards another city. The movement will be delayed to 20% of normal speed and the morale is severely reduced as well. When the army reaches the next city, a permanent road is created giving a movement speed boost of 50% between those two cities. All roads are drawn on the map adding bridges as they cross the river. Secondly, how unrest works have completely changed from Rome 1. Unrest no longer impacts, I think that's supposed to be in parts, a risk of a rebel unit spawning. In fact, there is no such thing as a rebel unit in Imperator. Unrest instead impacts the loyalty of that province, which in the end may cause a civil war or an independence war. This will make large rebellions more interesting and remove the imbalance where rebel units always have larger numbers than real armies in our other games. Thirdly, each nation will have a civilization level, which depends on their type of government and techno technology levels. Thirdly, each nation will have a civilization level, which depends on their type of government and technology levels. Each city will slowly increase to the cap or decay if above it, so civilizing barbarian frontiers is a long-term process. Next week, we'll go deeply into characters. So not a whole lot of information today about Imperator Rome, but we have some interesting things. So if you take the Roman military tradition path, you will be able to build roads, and it doesn't they haven't mentioned it at least, but that's the only way to build roads in the game, it looks like, which is pretty cool. I like the ability to dynamically draw in your roads, and it's, it's, it is interesting that it, you know, you can see from this picture to this picture, from city to city, draws a little road in, adds a little bridge, it's pretty cute. Uh, it's, it's nice, it, it increases your movement speed along the roads, but I'm assuming that's going to apply to all armies, so it'll allow you to deploy your armies more quickly across your empire, but it'll also probably allow the enemies to traverse your land easier as well. That's pretty interesting. The change in unrest, I think, is a, a bit of a mixed bag. I never really thought rebels were, you know, that big of an issue in another Paradox game. I actually hope it makes them more interesting in Imperator. There's not that standard, uh, you have unrest, bam, rebels spawn, you take out their army because they're usually not very strong. Uh, or you might have an issue and have to keep the, uh, the unrest down. But in this, instead of rebels spawning, there's a chance that that area will spark a civil war or an independence war. That's pretty cool. I do I do like that change. I think I think it'll be more interesting than the way it's been handled in the past, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. And the last thing is civilization level. This is directly from E Rome. Civilization existed there as well. It's not that complex of a of of, of a mechanic. Each nation has a set civilization level. Like it says it depends on what type of government you have and how much technology you have. And your cities will basically try to make it to that level. If you're like a barbarian who takes over a really civilized na uh, city, it'll go down. And if you are a civilized nation that takes over a frontier barbarian outpost, it'll slowly raise up. And you can see the boons you get it from right here. Population growth, supply limit, research points, and barbarian growth down on this one. Because it's a civilized area. And something slightly disconnected from this. This week has been just like a little bit here, a little bit there. Like these are some things that are going to be in the game. It's not really any about anything very specific. On Johan's Twitter here, uh, you can see that we have a sneak peek at our first event in the game. Which seems pretty standard paradox fair here. We have an event and a couple uh, choices for us to go with that will impact the nation in various ways. Nothing, nothing shocking here. So that's it for today, guys. Nothing terribly crazy coming from Imperator Roman Dev Diary number 16. I think the, the most interesting thing is the roads here. We knew that you could use your, your legions to build roads, but now we know a little bit more precisely what that does in the actual mechanic of building the road in terms of reducing your morale and your speed and of um, how to unlock the roads. It is the Roman, it was the Latin military tradition down the Roman path. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.